Hey guys, it's Brian Miniman from Pocketnow.com. Google is rolling out a new version of the Android market with an updated interface. And in this video, we're going to take a look at all the features that it brings. Let's get to it. So this is going to be rolled out over the next few weeks on Android 1.6 devices and above, but you can actually get it right now if you really want it. It's really easy to install. I'll put a link up in the description so you can get to it. So this new interface features a scrolling carousel at the top. It's got this kind of curved theme that you find on the Nexus S. If you go to the Nexus S website, it's all about this curvature uh, of, of the screen, and they kind of bring that forth here in the marketplace. It even has a really nice uh, landscape view here that looks pretty much like it does in portrait, but a little bit different. So we can swipe through featured applications. We can scroll through a list of other featured applications. We can go right to apps here, and then we're taken into the categories. It's a very, very fast interface. We can go back, go to games, and take a look at all the games. A big focus on Android 2.3 Gingerbread is games. There are many improvements for developers to take advantage of uh, to make games faster. There's gyroscope support and a lot of really technical stuff. And so Google's trying to bring forth the game selection of the Android market by giving it its own little uh, link here on the home screen. And of course, we can go into my apps and take a look at your own apps that you've downloaded. Let's take a look at what a page actually looks like. So we'll go to Guitar Hero. Well, actually, let's go to a free app. Let's go to Yelp. We're going to jump back into Portrait for a minute. If you remember in the old version or the current version of Google Market, the Android Market, you get tabs along the top, which we actually liked a little bit more to keep things organized, but now everything is laid out in one long vertically scrolling screen. So to install it, it's super easy. You tap the free button. It's actually faster than it was in the current version of the Android Market to install an app. You get the description here. You can tap on more. It expands. You can tap less and just get a little synopsis. Here are the screenshots, some statistics, the reviews. Here are the related apps. We saw this tab appear in the Android market, but now it's within this screen. We can tap more to get even more related apps, developer info, and so on. Let's take a look at what it's like to install this app. You tap free, and then the permissions show up within the current page. So you're staying within the same screen all along. You click OK, boom, it's downloading a really expedited process to be able to download apps in the Android market. There's also some new categories for live wallpapers and for widgets because a lot of developers are making lots of widgets and lots of live wallpapers, so you can dial down right by that. Uh, the search functionality is pretty much unchanged, so if we search for, say, widgets, we will get very fast results here. In terms of settings and options, if we go into the menu, we can go to settings and turn on notifications so that if you have an update available for one of your apps, you'll get a, a little window shade notification at the top there. And let's go back. And that's pretty much it, an updated UI that looks really good. It's faster, definitely much faster, than the current version of the Android market, and it makes games have the spotlight more than ever. So again, we'll put a link in the description. If you want to download this, it takes about two seconds to install on your Android phone, or you can wait for the official update to happen within the next few weeks. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and thanks for watching. That's it for now.